2020, just at the very beginning, I want you to speak one or two things, one or two things that you're grateful for this year, because I've had people cursing the year 2020. I would never do that in the Lord, personally. I'm not cursing any year because of a virus, and I know hard things have happened, but never, I would never, because the blessing of the Lord, He watches over, He protects us. And we're under the shadow of his wing. So we brought a real special song tonight. It's definitely from the 80s. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Many of you will know it. This, these two fine young ladies, and I'm still calling Jessica a young lady. Thank you. This, <laughs> this is my oldest daughter, and this is my oldest grandchild, McKenna Ray. Many of you have seen her before. She's been singing and playing in the prayer room since she's 11. And she's, let me see, I got 17. Stop it. Okay, Pawpaw's feeling, oh, she's, <laughs> yeah, awesome, man. I, I feel definitely a little bit older because she's not 12 anymore. And uh, all the kids are growing up. Jessica has five, and Matt behind the screens here has three. We have eight, and our ninth grandchild is on the way with Miss Ariel. But we're going to start, uh, Jessica actually asked me, so I'm switching it up on them. <laughs> we're going to give thanks with a grateful heart. Let me do the lyrics just for a second. And Because uh, McKenna, I don't know that you'd heard it before, but she learned it real fast <laughs> in our rehearsal. Uh, but this song, I don't know, Carla, what would you say? It's probably one of the top 10, 15 songs out of the Hosanna era. Don Moen actually recorded it on an album. But this is really, the lyrics are full of the word. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because he's given Jesus Christ his son. But this middle part. And now, let the weak say, I am strong. And let the poor say, of what 
of streams the number one thing we're grateful for tonight so you guys can think about it and get ready for your day usually before we eat on thanksgiving we go around the room sometimes it's a little laborious but it's very powerful and giving thanks for one thing for this year carla what would you say
thankful for, and I'm also, also thankful for Ariel and Jared having a baby. <laughs> That's all of it? Okay. Well, I was looking over at my daughter and granddaughter, and I was thinking about how blessed I am that my family knows God, that my children love Jesus, that my grandchildren love Jesus, that nobody's offended and walking away from the Lord in any way, shape, or form, that they're all worshipers. And I'm also very thankful that Ariel and Jared are going to have a baby. Wow. And you know, I, I, I just got to tell you, we were I was just singing with uh, Kathleen Velasi. I was sharing with Jessica. They're good friends of ours, the Velasi family. They have five children. And uh, we actually have more grandchildren than they do now. But I said, Kathleen and Bob, thank you for raising your children. The godliness factor has to go up higher in America. So godly families are a premium, raising your children in the ways of the Lord. Because uh, a lot of people say, Can we cannot believe your family, all three of your kids, they worship, grandchildren serving the Lord. Well, they, they say, we're so blessed when I see the Balassis. It reminds me of our family because they all sing and play as well. All of a sudden, they'll, they have a set before us on Wednesday night at 6 o'clock. And you never know, it might be the youngest Balassi, and they're all married now. So, <laughs> But godliness, it, we need to pray about that. Godliness goes to the next level. That's a good one, Carla. Jessica? some distance in relationships or things are not going well in certain areas, you can pray and say, God, we want you to redeem this and bless it and bring change and stuff because um, <clears throat> it's not a joke. Uh, a few years ago, Carla went through bladder cancer and uh, around the same time found out that her sister, Cherie, had cancer and Cherie did pass away from that. So we're, we're not kidding. When you in COVID, I just felt like I'd bust through it, no big deal. But I am 67. They said, you're in the danger zone. He said, I rebuke that. Uh, I'm not in the danger that. zone, buddy. Danger zone. And my doctor said, Kit, you're like a horse. You know, you just see your lungs. But if you get shortness of breath, call me. I go, oh, oh, there's a caveat. <laughs> anyway, McKenna Ray, what are you doing? What are you saying, man, this year? Um, I would probably say, like, just the peace of God, because it's brought me through a lot of things this year. Um, and also music, because my life would be very different without it. Oh, my God. Yeah, because she started in the prayer room in kind of the youth set, but now, I mean, she's adult worship leader at Destiny Church. She's still worship uh, Sunday. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tap onto that. Uh, this year, because uh, we went 91 days straight with the Psalms, I had a like an epiphany moment, like a neon light went off. Kent, you have a giant gift from the Lord Jesus. He said, well, I thought I knew that, but I guess I didn't. But no, it, like the power of what I'm doing now is so, um, so obvious. And I mean, I've been doing it a long time for Carl and I've been married 45 years, but I'm gonna tag onto that with what kind of music, without music, it'd be a sad world. You know, butterflies are free and every other saying we have, but, but music, people can sing and forget their troubles and we're doing it under the glory of God. And um, no, I'm just, I'm super grateful for that. And, and, and Matt also, I had an episode about a month ago, uh, probably at the beginning of October where uh, I felt like the Lord was saying, if there's one thing that you want in this life before you leave the planet, and what came up in my spirit is that Matt, my son, would be in full-time ministry and continue. 
like in ministry. I, I found that in it crazy, mm-hmm. Jessica, out of all this stuff, because you, I mean, you've been in ministry with the Church of Destiny and Ariel's done different things, but I found it it's so cool that somebody devoted to Jesus is being supported by our live streams and full-time ministry. So that that's mine for free. We're going to go back to the song. You guys ready? How about Matt? Oh, sorry, Matt. Stand right by the camera. Um, yeah, I have to say I am super thankful for the Lord. Um, that as the world turns itself into crazy mayhem, we have that peace, like Kenneth said, and the the hope that uh, we'll be okay. You know, that all of this will work out in the end for our good and for the Lord's good. And uh, super thankful for that in crazy times. And, and as the world uh, goes nuts, we can just rest in his peace and his love. And uh, so thankful to be in a, in a season of sharing that as well yes. uh, through what we've been able to do here and touching people's hearts and lives all over. And of course, you know, family and health and all the things that we, we still have. We haven't lost anybody through this process or anything like that. So super grateful for that. Well, and all of us, listen to me, we have miles to go on a prophetic journey. I don't care if you're 16, you're 36, you're 66, 80, you have miles to go in a prophetic journey. We all have a prophetic destiny to fulfill now. And that's why health and healing and happiness and all that stuff, the Lord said, I'm, I'm covering you with it. So give thanks. You guys ready? And give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus.
Psalm 34. Go ahead and open your Bibles, get your media device, iPad, cell phone. Let's get after the Word of God. Psalm 34, the night before Thanksgiving. This is not the night before Christmas. I always keep saying that, but I love this. A night of rest, lingering in His presence and giving thanks to the Lord. Thank you, Father God that we can set this time aside to bless you at all times, but especially right now, in this week of Thanksgiving, God, this time where we turn our focus toward you and toward the things that that we are most thankful for in our lives, God, that we take the time to thank you and to praise you for all of it, God. Because without you, we're nothing. Without you, we don't have anything. We don't have life. We don't have health. We don't have prosperity. We don't have family. We don't have anything, God. Without you, we're nothing. And so we're taking this time right now to praise you, God, and to look toward you and to fill our mouths with your praise. Continue. Give us wisdom and revelation as we approach your word in Psalm 34, beginning with verse 1. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. Oh, Magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I will praise the Eternal in every moment through every situation. Whenever I speak, my words will always praise him. Everything within me wants to pay tribute to him. Whenever the poor and humble hear of his greatness, they will celebrate too. Come and lift up the eternal with me. Let's praise his name together. Your praise will ever be, yes, ever be in my mouth. I am found blessing you, Lord, giving you the high praise at all times. Your praise is always on my lips. And the passion says, Lord, I'm bursting with joy over what you've done for me. My lips are full of perpetual praise. I'm boasting of you and all your works. So let all who are discouraged take heart. Join me, everyone. Let's praise the Lord together. Let's make him famous. Let's make his name glorious to all.
sought the Lord, verse 4 and 5, and he heard me, and he delivered me from all my fears. I love that three-letter word, all. All. He said, not just of you. You delivered me, Lord, from all of my fears. And they looked unto the Lord, and they were made radiant. Their faces were not ashamed. When I needed the Lord, I looked for him. And I called out to him, and he heard me. He responded and came. I love this part. He rescued me from everything that made me so afraid. So look to him and shine. So shame will never contort your faces again because you looked unto the Lord and you were made radiant. And those who look to him for help will be radiant with joy. Their faces were lightened. No shadow of shame will darken their faces. So making speed, they run to him. Lightened faces, they shall not be disgraced. Finally, in the Passion Bible, it says, listen to my testimony. Good. Somebody had a testimony. I cried to God in my distresses, and he answered me. He freed me from all my fears. Thank God. So the scripture records, gaze, gaze upon him. Join your life with his, and joy will come. Your faces will glisten with glory. What? Your faces will glisten with glory. You'll never wear that shame face again because your faces are glistening with the glory of the Lord. and seven this poor man cried out and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles the angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him and delivers them this poor soul cried and the eternal heard me he rescued me from my troubles 
the messenger of the eternal God, surrounds everyone who walks with him and is always there to protect and rescue us. The suppressed one called to the Lord for help. The Lord heard and saved him out of all of his darkness. Friendless folk may still call upon the Lord and gain his ear and be rescued from oh, yes. their all, all their affliction. Say it again. Please. Friendless folk may still call upon the Lord and gain his ear and be rescued from all their affliction. When I had nothing, desperate and defeated, I cried out to the Lord and he heard me bringing his miracle deliverance when I needed it most. The angel of the Lord stooped down to listen as I prayed, encircling me, empowering me, and showing me how to escape. He will do this for everyone who fears God. says taste of his goodness see how wonderful the eternal truly is <laughs> anyone who puts trust in him will be blessed and comforted revere the eternal all you his saints for those who worship him will possess everything important in this life young lions may grow tired 
and hungry, but those who intend on knowing the eternal God will have everything that they need. So try the eternal. You'll find him very kind. Blessed is the man who takes shelter in him. That's the Moffat translation, super old school. Check it again. Try the eternal because you'll find, you'll find him very kind. Blessed is the man who takes shelter in him. We meditate on the word. And the passion closes it out with drink deeply of the pleasure, pleasures of this God. Experience for yourself the joyous mercies he gives to all who turn to hide themselves in him. Experience for yourself the joyous mercies he gives to all who turn to those who hide themselves in him. That's me and you guys. Worship in awe and wonder. All you who have been made holy. For all who fear him will feast with plenty. For even the strong and the wealthy grow weak and hungry, but those who passionately pursue the Lord will never lack any good thing. Go taste and see that the Lord is good. Come take a deep drink. Oh, taste and see that the Lord a deep drink oh taste and see that the lord is good come take a deep drink oh taste and see that the lord is good come take a deep drink oh taste and see that the lord to what I'm saying. I will teach you how to revere the eternal. If you love life and want to live a good one, long time. Sons and daughters, come and listen and let me teach you the importance of trusting and fearing the Lord. Do you want a long, good life? Come children, listen closely. I'll give you a lesson in God worship. Who 
out there has a lust for life. Can't wait each day to come upon beauty. Come, children of God, and listen to me. I'll share the lesson I've learned of fearing the Lord, revering the Lord. Do you want to live a long, good life, enjoying the beauty that fills each day? Come before the throne of grace, open my eyes to see your face. Come before the throne of grace, show me your heart and your ways. from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Take care with the things you say. Don't lie or spread gossip or talk about improper things. Walk away from the evil things of the world and always seek peace and pursue it. Then watch your tongue. Keep your lips from lying. Turn from all known sin and spend your time in doing good. Try to live in peace with everyone. Work hard at it. Guard your tongue from profanity. No more lying. Turn your back on sin. Do something good. Embrace peace. Don't let it get away. Then never speak a lie or allow wicked words to come from your mouth. Keep turning your back on every sin 
and make peace your life motto. Practice being at peace with everyone. Guard my mouth and tame my tongue. Yes, I'll depart from evil. I'll seek peace, pursue Guard my mouth and tame my tongue. Yes, I'll depart from evil. I'll seek peace, pursue it. Guard my mouth and tame my tongue. Yes, I'll depart from evil. I'll seek peace, pursue it. blessing realm and the blessing flow so and let me see the hearts and thumbs flying how many enjoy the night well if not with Kent and Carla McKenna and Jessica awesome night. I really do thank you guys <laughs> Woo! took time during the holidays to do some worship Jessica pray for us oh father we do bless you we bless your name uh, we lift you high and above everything going on, all circumstances in life, you are high and above any situations, any turmoil, any stress, God. I just pray a blessing over any, everybody watching and hearing this, God, that um, your face would shine upon them, Lord, that as you uh, see us and 
hear us seeking you and blessing your name, Lord, you would just shine your face of peace and joy upon us, God. There would be peace and joy in homes and in hearts and in relationships, God. Um, even in the small ways that we're able to just take a moment and bless you and be thankful and, and bring gratitude, God, we want to do that. So Holy Spirit, just quicken us when we're tempted to uh, complain or tempted to bring distress or um, stress into our homes this week, God. Just quicken us and cause us to stop and turn our hearts and our gaze to you, to be grateful for you, Lord, and everything that you've done. Jesus, you are enough. You are enough, and we just say that tonight, God. You are enough for everything that we need. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, Matt, you want to jump in? It's a really holy moment. Just kind of, it's wonderful. Okay, God bless you guys. And again, thanks for supporting us. We're still here months, was it seven months later, Matt? Eight or March yep. 19th, whatever that is. We're still here in full-time ministry because people are supporting and giving, and thank you so very much. Right before the night before Thanksgiving. Matt? Yes, amen and amen. So great to see everybody on Thanksgiving Day. It's such an amazing thing to be able to do to worship together on the day of Thanksgiving the Lord has made. We are rejoicing and we are glad today to see all of you guys. Make sure you hit that like, hit that share button. We want to see as many people as possible enjoy the worship for today uh, for Thanksgiving Day with their own families and uh, lots of people are sitting around probably on social media. So make sure you hit that like, hit that share. We want to see as many friends as possible join in in Thanksgiving to the King today. We are so thankful for you guys. Uh, if you want to help support today, the stream going out, this is five days a week. Even on the holidays, we make a way to make it happen. And so uh, if you want to help support what we're doing today, you can visit us at chman.org or kenthenry.com. You're looking at that right now on your screen. It's chman.org. You can give the donations button, hit that donations button, and it'll take you to our donations page where you can give one time. You can give a uh, 12 campaign, which is saying I have a dollar a month. I want to support you guys for a year. Here's $12. Or you can do monthly support. We, we need some monthly supporters. We love to see you guys do whatever you can, uh, even if it's a small amount. If we have as little as 10 to 13,000 people doing a dollar a month, we are covered for our entire budget for the year. We're putting these things out uh, to whoever who would find them for, you know, putting God's word out there to the body of Christ and to those who would stumble across these on the social platforms. So make sure um, you check out the donations page. If you're more of a check giver, you can scroll down on that page. You can do the, the check make out to Carriage House Ministries. And there's the address right on that same donations page. We also have a store full of products. Make sure you're checking out all the things available for this holiday season coming up. We'll have a Black Friday gift coming out real soon. And uh, make sure you check the website or check uh, our social media platforms for the ways to be able to do that right here. It's 20% off already on your first purchase if you just sign up for the email list. So check that out if you're not familiar. We also have PayPal. It's paypal.me slash chmin. It's at C-H-M-I-N if you're looking for us under the username on your phone, paypal.me slash C-H-M-I-N if you're a PayPal user, log in all safe and secure like everything else you do on PayPal. We also have Facebook fundraiser set up pinned in the comments is these links that I talk of. They're right there pinned in the comments if you want to check out the fundraiser we set up each and every month. That's about to come to a close right there on Facebook. We also have stars available. You buy those in bulk. They're worth one cent a piece. You can give them in whatever amount you'd like to. So check that out. Also, similarly on YouTube. We have the YouTube Super Chat, which you can do right while we're live. There's a little dollar sign. We see your comment a little bit separated from everybody else's, and that's a great way to, to give if you're set up on there to do that. This slide's a little slow to come up, but we do have the text giving. It's C-H-M-G-I-V-E in your message field to 44321. It'll generate a link. Text it back to you. Thank you to Joanne Davis, Aaron Allison, Cornerstone Ministries. Those are our most recent givers right here. This is all real time. So uh, check it out if you want to do text giving. You can also do Give 12 for the Give 12 program. And lastly, make sure you're doing the half percent donation you can do through the Smile program for all the things that you shop on on Amazon. We'd love to be a, uh, be supported by just the things you're going to buy anyway. Uh, Amazon's the one giving this to us. It's not an extra expense to you. So check it out. Our, our direct link is right there on the screen. We want to connect with you guys however we can. So uh, join us each and every time we're live. Give thanks today with your family. Celebrate what the Lord has done for us because um, we just love him and we love sharing this with you guys. 
Until this Seeking Soaking Saturday night, be blessed and have a great meal and nap time with your family. Uh, until then, guys, we'll see you guys Saturday night. Be blessed.